Welcome to our five minutes introduction to running PyTorch on Cerebra systems. Today, we're going to talk about three different topics. The prerequisites, what do we need to run on our system? The compilation, how to create executables for our system? And the third one, finally, how we are going to run PyTorch on the Cerebra systems. All of these and more you can find in our documentation at docs.cerebras.net. Let's start with the prerequisites. And for this, we will learn how, what we need to have in order to run PyTorch on the Cerebra systems. There are three different types of prerequisites, the environment, the tools, and the application. The environment is related that the CS system is a network attached accelerator to a cluster. We need the information of the cluster as well as the CS system. For the cluster, we need to know the host names of the coordinator as well as the worker nodes. For the CS system, we need the CS IP as well as the port number that is connected to. The last one is we need to know the release version running on the CS system. This release version has to be compatible with the additional tools that we are going to use. The second part are the tools, the Cerebras software. There are two types of tools. The first one is a compatible Cerebras client software, also called CP Core. The second part is that we need to include in an environment variable path, the Slurm wrappers to submit jobs. These Slurm wrappers are called CSRUN CPU and CSRUN WC. The third part of it, the prerequisites is the model and the data that you want to use the model, use for training the model. In here, we suggest to use our Cerebras reference implementation as a start. This code is CS friendly and can execute in our systems. For the Example of today, we are not going to require additional datasets. These datasets are going to be downloaded during compilation. So now let's start compilation and let's start to create executables for the Cerebra system. For that, I will show you in the terminal. So in our Cerebra reference implementation of FCM NIST, you will find two folders, PyTorch and TensorFlow. Today, we will work with PyTorch. In this folder, you will find different files that are related with defining the model, defining the streaming of the data, and executing the model. We are going to use run.py, that is, to execute the model. For compilation, we are going to use csrun CPU. Then we will call Python minus pt, that is our Python implementation for PyTorch. Then run.py with a couple of flags that define the mode of execution that we are going to use, training, the parameters of the mode of the model that you will always find in, for our reference implementation in configs uh, folder, and always remember to specify the CSIP to let the system know what is the configuration of the hardware that you are going to run. As well as for compilation, you will need to add the flag compile only. In here, you will notice that the CSRUN CPU is a wrapper for SRUN, and we are reserving only one node in the cluster. CSRUN CPU only reserves one node because for compilation, we only need one. We don't need to reserve the CS system to do compilation. And that allows us to iterate with the model and make sure that first, we support the model in the software stack, and second, have an estimate of performance without running the model. The other thing that is important about the CSAP is that we need to know the configuration of the hardware in order to compile the system. This will allow you to save time once you launch um, execution on the system. So now that our compilation is completed, we will find all of the compilation artifacts in the model directory. Once we have compiled, now we are ready to execute, meaning we are going to run PyTorch on the Cerebra system. In the terminal, what we are going to use this time is csrun wsc. 
CSRANWSC reserves not only cluster nodes, but also uh, the CS system. We will use the same Python minus PT, the same file as RAN.py, and the same flags that we used before. Uh, defining training, define the parameters, and defining the CSAP. Never forget the CSAP. In here, I have defined the CSAP as an environment variable to um, not needing to remember the whole IP. The whole thing here is that we don't want to specify the compile-only flag that only works for compilation. So, um, CSRANWC is a wrapper for SRAN, and we have reserved two types of nodes. The first one is the coordinator node, and this coordinator node is the one that is launching the executables to the Cerebra system. And the second type of nodes is um, the worker nodes. These are the nodes that are streaming data into the system. In here, we have defined three worker nodes and each one with two tasks per, per each of them. The main difference between compilation and execution is that you will find in execution that you are at the same time of compiling the model, programming the fabric. Now we have trained for 1,000 steps, and all of the checkpoints and the results can also be found in the model directory. So remember that all of these steps can be found in our documentation at docs.cerebras.net. In here, you will find a checklist before you quick start, as well as a, a PyTorch quick start, and find all of the steps that we talked today. So thank you so much for being with me to learn prerequisites, compilation, and execution on a Cerebra system. Thank you. Bye-bye.